I wanted to show you how I did it in traditional way. I mean, it's only a sketch, but I wanted to show you um, the way I was, you know, organizing my workspace and so on. Okay. So first of all, I just um, took the distance and you know dimensions uh, using my using my pencil. Okay, like on this picture. And then I just try, I mean, I try to uh, draw the same dimensions on my paper, okay? And um, I usually use two, um, two ways of holding a pencil. The first one on the left uh, is when I draw just normally, I just draw, sketch, and so on. And the second one is really good when you, uh, when you have to draw the stripe lines and have to draw perspective and so on. So it's really a good uh, way to draw them uh, parallel and so on. And also I use always always my arm, not only my hand. Okay? So when I draw I try to feel the lines and through my arm try to draw it on, on my paper not only my hands, okay? Because sometimes when you use only your hands, the drawing uh, can be really, you know, or flat. I have this kind of, you know, sketch of proportions, and it doesn't have to look uh, great, it has to uh, look sketchy. <laughs> so then I use this way of holding my pencil and just use to, you know, draw more details on paper. Then we have something like that, something, um, first sketch of uh, proportions and details, okay? And then I start to draw, um, to color um, my, my edges, okay? Um, and I used to create a flat basis. I don't start from a shadows, okay? It's really important. You have to create flat spots of um, grays, okay? Um, like this. It doesn't look it doesn't look good, but you have to start from this one, okay? Then I add more shadows step by step, okay? And start to you know work more on. Uh, on shadows, on core of shadow, and so on, always step by step. Um, when I have to draw uh, really dark uh, spots of my on my drawing, I use 4B or 5B pencil, but but I prefer 4B and only shadows. I prefer the traditional way, I think, because I really like to feel the paper. I really like to feel the pencil, the feel, you know, drawing, the feel. I mean, I, I like to touch, you know, the, the feeling. I like the feeling, you know, of drawing. And, and I think I feel better when I draw with my pencil, not on, on my computer, but I think I'm not good in, on my computer. <laughs> so. Um, then um, I add some lights with a white um, white pencil or my eraser. Okay, step by step, and this is the the, the kind of final uh, effect um, when I used. And I drew um, a value scale for you. Um, and I showed you what I used. I used uh, white pencil, uh, B2, B5 pencil, uh, my eraser, and that's it. Okay, so you have always to remember about core of shadow. Okay, it's really important. So, as I said before, the core of shadow is the darkest value on the dark side. Um, and usually is the axis of the object. Then we have a dark middle tone. 
under the core of shadow. Um, okay, the human eye uh, can trick the brain into believing the lightest values on the dark side are the same as the darkest values on the light side. If the artist is confused about lights and darks, uh, the rendering is less understandable. Okay, um, and then we have reflected light, which I love so much. Drawing reflected light. Um, is if the object being painted is sitting on the white table, the light from the table reflects back into the object and makes the shadow side lighter. 